Hey everybody, welcome back to our Jeep Adventures. Uh, we're going to do something a little different today. We're going to talk about a new set power refrigerator freezer we got. Um, it's real exciting when they reach out to us about uh, reviewing one of these because we've had some issues when we've gone camping in the past uh, with ice melting, food not being kept cold. So we were looking into this and we just hadn't arrived, you know, at a, at a conclusive model. And then, uh, like I said, they reached out to us said to review it. So that's what we're going to do. So when they when they when they contacted us about uh, doing a review on it, uh, they gave us uh, an open option into which model. They have four different models of, of coolers to meet different needs. Uh, had to look through them for a bit. I almost uh, almost decided on uh, another model until I saw this one, which is specifically designed for off-roading and overlanding. Is is what they say in the uh, the uh, the comments about the refrigerator. So when deciding on which refrigerator freezer that we wanted and we saw the one for Overland in this AJ model. It's all the AJs, there's four different AJ models, the different quart capacities. Um, we, thought, we thought, what's so different about this one versus another refrigerator freezer? Well, then reading through all of the, uh, the, 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 the specifications of it online, we saw that this refrigerator can handle a 30 degree lean without it uh, going out. Now, I don't know a lot about compressors, uh, but I do know that there is some hydraulic oil in them and if a refrigerator leans over too far Hydraulic oil can move through it somehow and mess it up and make it stop working That's why I like refrigerators You see people pick them up and they and it says keep upright They don't want those things leaning because it can mess up the uh, the compressor inside of the refrigerator All right, this is like opening a Christmas present for us It's one of them box in a box things. Okay, well, it's packaged well. I'll give them that. It's not going to get damaged being shipped to you. That's good. Okay, so we got it out. Actually, it has a locking handle. I do kind of like that. And we got to put the handles on it yet, too on both sides so we'll get down and do that got a user manual here's our AC adapter and a uh, accessory adapter for an automobile or for a Jackery like we have and we're going to use that use it with that as well and our handles that we still got to put on there we go okay we got to put the handles on so take your little caps off like that. Grab you a bolt, stick it in there. It comes with a comes with the torques that you need, so that kind of makes it nice. Sorry if my head got in the way. Had a little delay in there. We had to deal with our dog. All right, that's all there is to that. There you go. And then do the other side. Okay, so just want to do some comparisons here in physical size. Uh, this, these, these are the two we've been using. With they're, they're just ice chests. This is a 62 quart. This is a 38 quart. So the new set power we got is a 42 quart. So you can see it is pretty much in between there. Um, when you open it up, there's not a lot of difference between the 38 and this because I mean four quarts is just like four mason jars is all. Um, but when you when you consider the ice factor, um, I had to look it up because I really wasn't sure about ice. You know how much is like a 10 pound bag of ice because we usually get a 10 or a 20 pound uh, de depending on how far we're going uh, like this one we usually a 20 pound but a 10 pound bag of ice is anywhere from five to eight quarts depending on the ice if it's shaved or crushed um, it's more it, it takes up more space because there's not as much air in between the ice if it's like the chunks the squares 
um, there's there's space between the ice, so you know there's not as, as as much quartz. So really, you take like a 38 quart, put 10 10 pounds of ice in there. We've just lost, you know, five to eight quarts of, of our space in there. So our 38 quart can actually be down to 30 quarts at at, at worst. And uh, you know the same with this. That could bring our big one down to 54 quarts. So this sits us right in between, and um, without losing capacity because of the ice. Okay, one of the things that I have noticed, I, I, I have read through the owner's manual, so it is important to read through these things. Please do it. But I did see something a little bit different is on the website. It talks about when you get these to let them set four to six hours to uh, let the hydraulic oil settle. You don't want to electrify it before that time because it could mess up the compressor. I didn't see that in the book. Maybe I didn't read close enough or I missed it somewhere. But just remember that you do need to let this thing sit for four to six hours before turning it on. Okay, let's talk about the power uh, for a minute. So if you're going to use it in your vehicle and you're going to plug it into the accessory adapter, this is what you use. And then this side here goes in the, the, the refrigerator. However, if you're going to use the AC adapter and plug it into a, like a 110 outlet, you're going to use this. And it, this is obviously goes into your wall socket, but you're still going to use your car adapter it's not they don't have a separate plug for it so no matter how you use this you're always going to use the car adapter and you're going to use it by plugging it into that with your ac adapter okay so we're going to we're going to power ours up with an ac uh, ac adapter on 110 i brought an extension cord out here just so we didn't have to move this whole operation indoors so we'll plug this in there's there's your fuse too by the way if you're wondering where that is so you plug that in we're just going to plug it in like you would into a wall outlet and then we've got power okay so we're energized we're going to turn it on and there you go so it's on it's set at max mode right now i guess that's just default it has an eco mode as well now i, I did read through the instructions on this because i kind of wanted to see you know how to use the refrigerator um, max mode is going to be there i just felt the compressor kick on uh, max mode is going to be if 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 it's hot outside or you're trying to get the the uh, cooler to go to the whatever operating temperature you set it at quick eco mode is going to be if you're putting food or something in there that's already cold cold um, if the temperature is cold outside or if it's plugged into a vehicle with the engine turned off okay the range of this particular model of set power is 51 to zero degrees um, they have different ranges depending on which refrigerator you get which model but this works for us 50 degrees so I'm going to set ours down to a little bit yeah to like 33 we'll leave it there okay so it's sitting at 59 degrees it goes up to 60 59 it's sitting out in the Sun right now um, I did set it to 33 as you saw just a minute ago if you want to see what your your setting is for temperature just push your button that's what we've got to set to is 33 so something I noticed right away is when I felt the compressor kick on, it kind of shook a little bit. And I've got my hand on it, I can feel it running. But I cannot hear it at all, which I'm really super impressed with. It's not like a refrigerator in your house or something that you can hear it kick on. I don't hear anything, and I'm really happy about that. All right, we haven't looked in here yet. So while it's running, let's go ahead and open it up. This is kind of cool. I didn't notice this before. It has a light on, off, on, off. Um, Got a basket in here. I guess put your different things on. A, on the website, it shows like organizing your canned goods and stuff like that. Oh, this is kind of cool. So you can make like one big basket. And then way down in there, it's got like some little round circle things. Maybe to put, I don't know, like a two liter bottle of soda or something like that. Possibly. That's what I'm guessing. It's in the Jeep. Um, just wanted to give you like a size idea of like how much space it takes. Uh, keep in mind this is a two-door JK, not a four-door. So I mean we just don't have a lot of room in here. Okay, so just be aware also that when you put put this this uh, refrigerator in a vehicle, to make sure that you keep those vents open so it can breathe. Okay, so we're gonna do a voltage test with uh, the uh, refrigerator in the Jeep. So right now the refrigerator is turned off. And we're sitting at 12.19 volts, 12.2 volts. That's normal for a battery. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the unit on 
in eco mode first, wait for the compressor to kick in and see what the voltage changes to. Alright, I don't know if you heard that. My wife said the compressor just kicked on. You can see the voltage is dropping. So we lost about, what, 0.2 volts. So now I'm going to have her kick it over to uh, max. So max dropped it about 0.02 volts. It looks like it's holding steady at 11.98 volts. And that's and the Jeep engine isn't even on. So that's not drawing anything really from your, your battery. I'm really happy about that with, this, uh, with the engine running um, and this thing charging at uh, about 14.7 volts. You're going to have no issues with your battery using this refrigerator. It's off and we're back up to what 12.09, 12.1. So there you go. Just to show you how this works with an accessory outlet, plug it in and that's it. Now you, I may have an issue. We, I may have to move mine because my four wheel drive shifter is right here. I really kind of worried about hitting it, but you may have outlets in other places that are more convenient than mine. So next step of this uh, test is we're taking it out on a, on a trip. We're gonna head down to Padre Allen National Seashore and do some beach driving this weekend. So you can see I've got the, uh, the cooler in there. It fits real well with everything that I've got in there. Um, I left a little bit of space in between on both sides where the uh, compressor is just for the uh, the heat displacement, you know, so it can breathe. And uh, right now it's uh, sitting at 35 degrees. It's been going up and down a little bit. I've, I've got it set for 33. Seems like the threshold's about 35. It kicks on. So the next test that we've been doing with the uh, set power is uh, we camped last night on the beach, as you can see. Wonderful. It's, it's uh, pretty windy and cold out here this morning. And we had the uh, set power hooked into our Jackery all night. So it's been going for 10 hours. And in 10 hours on eco mode, it's only taken my Jackery down to 79%. So that's pretty good. And go over here and show the maintain temperature. As you can see, it maintained it. It's at 35 now. It keeps going up and down. I uh, think it goes down about 28 and it kicks on and cools it back to 33. So, uh, or warms it back up to 33. But it's maintaining them at that 30, 33 degree average that uh, I had it set out. We're on the beach about 40 miles up uh, Padre Island National Seashore. And um, it's rough. And there's our chest, our ice, new, new refrigerator. And, uh, Wow, yeah, you can see what we're going through here. It's pretty rough. So we're putting it through a good test. I mean, it was built for overlanding, and um, you know, it's supposed to be able to handle 30 degree inclines without turning off or having any issues. And uh, so far it's been pretty good. I'm having a hard time holding the GoPro because it is really rough on the beach. But, uh, but this is great. This is a great test for our new refrigerator. I'm excited about it. Coming inside here, uh, we got, we're, we're having stir fry, so we got our stir fry vegetables already. Pre did our, our rice, got some sprites down there. Um, had ham sandwiches for lunch, I didn't eat at all. Got my, uh, my beef for the stir fry, and some cheese that we have for sandwiches, some tea, and uh, everything's cold. I've even got a little bit of ice buildup on the, the uh, side walls. So overall, I've got nothing but good things to say with this set power. All right, guys, that's about it. Um, we put the set power through a whole bunch of stuff today. Driving on a beach is not just a drive in a park, you know, on a smooth road. It's rough, and we were pretty hard on that set power today. It kept our food cold all day. Uh, had a great meal last night because of it. Uh, I'd recommend the uh, set power freezer refrigerator to anybody. Uh, we had absolutely no issues with it. What a great product. So as always, uh, be sure and hit the subscribe button. And uh, also visit our, our website at rjeepadventures.com.